It's, it's so different. Okay, we're live. But it's Hi. different than it used to be. Welcome to Philly And you're Ross. crooked. If you were watching, you got a quick peek of Tara's face. <laughs> uh, like from the bad <laughs> angle, like where your chin's all like. It's like a middle-aged man selfie. <laughs> it was horrible. Welcome to Build Across Live. It is, what is it, Tuesday? January 31st. 31st. Goodbye January. Goodbye January. Hello February. Um, we're still painting Valentine's. So I thought that I would do this cute little owl, love owl for you today. He's adorable. Grab some brushes. I'm doing purple, purple paints and blues because once we're done with February, I'm not using those colors as much. Okay. Yeah, that'll be Easter. Well, it'll be Mardi Gras on St. Patrick's Day first, so it'll be a lot of green. And purple. Right. And purple and yellow. Yeah. So practically. So when I'm painting the owl, uh, or like a cartoony owl, I have a little rule of thumb to come in from the outside darker. So like his hands would be the darkest of the purple, his body would be the medium light of the purple, and then around his eyes would be the lightest of the purple. So come in towards yourself. And if you had a belly, you would do it the lightest too. I think I'm going to do the belly blue one here though. So you're going to start with your, uh, I'm doing amethyst here on the hands. And just going to take care of them. But that's a good way. It's a good little uh, tip for any animal or any cartoon woodland type animal that you paint. Start darkest around the edges and come in to the very to the place that's usually around the mouth and nose and do that the lightest. And you can create different tints as you come in with lighter colors. It just looks cold outside. Oh, it's it cold. cold. It's cold, y'all. It's not, not freezing. 35 degrees and it's not getting any warmer today. And it's um a little rainy. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of hot. I think the heat is lasting in here. <laughs> Sarah's always hot. Yeah, Sarah's hot when it's freezing in here. Well, you know, some of us do burn in energy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So That'd be me. Here is the darkest. So I'm, three. I'm gonna come in and do a little bit lighter. I'm gonna leave the dark on my brush. It's still 18. Nan, how do you survive? Who's living in 18? Nan. 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 She stays in her house and does crafts. That's what she does. That's how yeah. she survives. Doing what are you cooking in this 18 degree party. weather, Nan? It's 24 where Michelle is in Indiana with sleet everywhere. That's what I just said. It's burning up in it's here. Gross. You're like, it's so cold. Everybody here, when it gets cold, wants to hold a hot coffee and eat some soup or chili. Isn't that right? Yeah, yes, I'm already thinking, like, I'm not going to make it tonight because I didn't pull the chicken out, but I'm going to make, like, a chicken tortilla soup with sautéed bell pepper and onion and some black mm. beans in it, like a cream sauce. This is why Terry's kids are expensive eaters. I have yeah. tortilla mix in my cabinet that I've been wanting to try. I should just I'll make mine from scratch. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Frozen meals, Tara. Girl, I got some containers coming. And I can start getting you, like, put you a container of food. Yeah, I can freeze, you can freeze them for me and I'll, yeah. like, I'll pay you for frozen meals. I'll just bring you a meal, Sarah. It's hard to cook alone. Yeah, it is. Person. Right, she's over here saying she's going to make it from scratch. I'm not doing that for myself. <laughs> but it's going to be easy. Like, I have it in my mind. Like, last night, Alice um, sauteed bell pepper and stuff on the Blackstone. And then I ate it on top of my salad. It mm. was so good. Yes. With, and she got the chicken and she did it on the, the black sauce. And, but she like picked the skin up on the chicken because it still had some skin on it. And then she put the seasonings under the skin. Y'all, it was so good. <laughs> I even used, and y'all will never believe this, store-bought ranch. But Build it's across the Maseratis. Learn to paint and cook all at once. She used store-bought ranch, y'all. What? Yeah. I did. did because I didn't want to go home and make it. But the um over there, like where you buy the bagged salads, yeah. it's like Mizrati's or something like that. 
They're not a car, a Maserati. Maserati? Maserati. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's like decent ranch. And learn about cars too. I it's decent ranch. <laughs> I thought a Maserati was a car. That's that's um misery and it's a movie. Okay, so I went ahead and did his body in this lavender and I left this the ten amethyst. degrees where Peggy is. I mean oh, y'all got brush. ten or not nineteen. Y'all got some cold temperatures. I mean we got some cold, but 10 and 19 and oh, okay i left the dark on my brush sorry that's okay i just want to point something out and i'm coming in under the eyes here and around the hearts just to give it a little bit of a shadow on his chest and on his fur and it kind of brit or feather brings it out a little bit okay go ahead now you can talk about food i am gonna make some of those protein cookies again though i'm so pumped mm. about it yes i had crackers and cream cheese last night for dinner Aww. And salsa the night before, so <laughs> this is not involving me. <laughs> but I like that kind of, like, just snacking. I'm not a real big, heavy meal eater at night. I'll eat a meal during the day, but I like to snack at night. Graze, whatever. Just eat I know, that's a little bit where better. I want it. Because when I'm with the kids and Randall. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to do the lightest purple on his uh, around his eyes, and for this one I'm going to dip in white and leave the purple on my brush, and I'm just going to blend it in as I go. You can take time to actually get your little uh, palette knife out and mix the colors if you want. I'm more of a blender because I'm an oil painter. Um, oh, and for anybody who's local, we set a date for the next Paint Your Pet class. It's going to be February 15th. Girl, Abram is still fussing at me because she did not get a painting of her pig for Christmas. Oh. Mom, I'm supposed to get a painting of my animals at Christmas. How come I didn't get one of my pig? I'm like, well, we don't get one just, you know, automatically. Yeah. I was like, She's like yes, we do. yes, she has mentioned it to me multiple times. So and February I'm like, 18th. You can get yourself a ticket to come paint your pet. You can bring her as a Valentine's treat to paint her pig. She wouldn't take instruction from me, though. She'd do it the way she wanted Oh, yes, to. she would. <laughs> it's really fun. It would be fun, yeah. but she probably would not. Because you come in, and I already have your canvas sketched for you. We have some colors out for you. And then we help She'd you. want to pick her own colors. Peggy's making sure. name place cards for her kids' Valentine's dinner she's having Saturday. Oh, fun. That's fun. I need to let Alice do a Valentine's dinner. Alice's friends cook so good. Like, they all brought these bougie dishes to her Christmas party. I just think it'd be so fun to have a karaoke Valentine's. It would. It really I mean, would. What is it called when you go house to house? Oh, yeah. Uh, that kind of yeah. thing. Where you go eat hors d'oeuvres at one house and maybe. but we don't all live in the same i never heard of that vicinity what's it called i can't remember what it's called i've never heard of it somebody online will know what's a lot of it people called do it at christmas yeah where you go from one house to the next and you have drinks at a house appetizers dinner but desserts. isn't it like in a neighborhood i heard that like Kinda, people do that yeah. all at one house like you'd be in charge of bringing yeah drinks. you'd be in well, charge that's like of bringing... a potluck that's a potluck. Yeah. <laughs> this is a t like some kind of tour that people do. A progressive dinner. Progressive dinner. That's what it's called. Okay. I forgot about that. Peggy calls it a posada. Posada. What is that? Is that Spanish? And you just go to different people's houses mm -hmm. and eat different meals at their house. I mean, we could probably do it like start at like Casey's house or my house. Mm -hmm. Go to the other one, then go to like yours or Scarlett's yeah. house. Do y'all want to waste all that gas and do all that driving? It's fun. Really? You it's do it during the holidays when your house is decorated okay. and people come in and they see your house. I have a little more white to get this a little bit lighter. He's so cute. Okay, so that's the, the gist of the purple. Now we're going to switch gears and do the love. The insides of his eyes, I want to say it would, I could do blue and then black, huh? That would be cute. Yeah. Because I got this uh, golf, which I love this color. Brittany, we can come to your house too. 
She's not listening. Dinner. For a progressive dinner. We're not really doing it. We're just talking about it. Colby can make the Wagyu steaks for us. I love the gold. It's such a pretty color. Yeah, it is pretty. Why are you looking at me so intensely? I wasn't. <laughs> I looked up and you're like... No. It's like Abram gets when she's hatching a plan. <laughs> she's always hatching a plan. She is. I miss them. Them little girls. You miss them because they're nice. What's a progressive? Like where you go from one house to another house. And you keep like... Like, say we'd start out at your house Orders. with the appetizers. Yeah. And then we would come to my house for like the salad. Yeah, we'd come to my house or Casey's house for the my salad. My house for the salad. Her house for the main course. Scarlett's for the dessert. And Sarah's for the espressos. <laughs> she ain't got no espressos. I make mocktails. We're coming for us. Uh, mocktails! <laughs> yeah. <Woo -hoo. laughs> yeah. So. Mocktails and energy drinks. It's Sarah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing the belly here, an invisible belly, because there's not one on the shape. Yes, it's a journey like Mary and Joseph had. Okay. At the last house, the person lets them in, and they have food. I can't read it all. Food and beverages. Being too loud. They locked us up. So, I just did this uh, makeshift stomach on him, and it's really cute. I like it. Yeah. Y'all like it? So cute. I'm gonna add a little white to it. While it's wet, just to blend it in a little bit. Also, if you want to make your eyes come alive, which I do a lot of pet eyes, add a little streak of white just at the top. And then, in, once you do the black, add your little dot. Do it in the same place on both sides to show the light hitting it. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the rest of this little bird. I think his name is Winston. Okay. Don't you think? I can get on board with that. And he brought... Taylor. Oh, it's our UPS man, Taylor in the house. Taylor. I oh, saw man. the best trick last night. Did you? Yes. What was it? It's where you take a Q-tip and you dip it in peanut butter and you get a little bit on there and then you stand by them at the bathroom like and you're doing ear. it in your ear and then you just oh look at it goodness. and then eat it. The husband nearly <laughs> died. Okay, in context, we're saying this because Taylor's wife pranked him with a spoonful of salt to taste test the soup and he almost vomited. So yes, definitely Dude, like get the peanut butter so on a Q-tip and be like, <laughs> it was hilarious. It was really good, yeah, good. you know? I mean, he yeah, was brushing like, his teeth. Yeah. Oh. And she threw, oh. I might have a video for y'all tomorrow. Yes. 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 If, if I can pull it off, I'll do it. But if I even have a thought that she might catch me, yeah. I yeah. ain't gonna chance it. So. No. Yeah. I have a hard time keeping a straight face myself. I, I do it. not lie well. Like, well, I always like smile. Like, you know, the, the yes, yeah. cold out there today, isn't it? It is trying to keep my ears. You know, they catch wind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. Right, bye. Bye. I was in the bedroom last night putting clean sheets on the bed, and I heard my doorbell go off, and I looked and I saw it was him. So I ran to the front door and waved. <laughs> he always rings the doorbell. They work some long hours. Yeah. On his little feet here. Winston's little feet. He's got a valentine for his girlfriend. Eloise. I've been watching um, New Girl and there's a guy on there named Winston. That's why I kind of giggled a little bit because he's funny. But yeah. Eloise. Eloise. There's a um, character, Eloise. I played her as a kid, and now um, she's an actual show. Like that character I played. Is she a pig? No, she's a she's a little girl, like a six year old girl from uh -huh. London or something like that, or France. And you played her? Yeah, I was in a lot of um, acting and stuff like that. Oh. Oh. What do you think about the new movie? Uh, Megan. 
I haven't seen it, <laughs> but I did come across the previews. <laughs> My friend took her daughter, her, I think Cruz is like 10, 9 or 10. She said it was cute, but I was like, it's cute? Isn't it like a horror kind of? Yeah. But it's not, it's more like thriller. Okay. You know, like suspense. But yeah, she took her little, her nine-year-old to see it. They loved it. Oh gosh, I can totally see Jackson being into stuff like that too. I know, creepy dolls. Yeah, yeah. Creepy. It, I just saw the um, previews of that flash up too. I really didn't look into it until Betsy said they went and saw it, and then I was like, "Looks like we kind we of went see, We went to we went to Puss in Boots. Oh yeah. And is it the Shrek Puss in Boots? Yeah. Like those characters? Yeah. Um. What did Jackson say? Oh, we're going to see Pussy Boots. We're going to see Pussy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the best. they really are. They, they, they know nothing. And uh, um, it was it was not that good. But I mean, I just I like more um, adult kid shows. And this was I mean, it wasn't bad. I'm just I don't know. It was hard to get into. It was real animated and yeah. I liked Shrek better than I liked it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I like Shrek movies better. Even though Shrek's crew, I still like. Was it. Donkey in it? No. Oh, I no. gotta have Eddie Murphy. Me too. Me too. I can't remember who voiced Puss in, Puss in Boots. I don't know either. He had an accent. Oh, 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 but the girl, the girl that Puss in Boots ended up, the, the cat, he s fell for is Selma Hayek. Okay. I, I can tell her voice from a mile away. Like, yeah. I knew her She's voice. She's so beautiful. She is. Okay. So Souls Rush in using... my be favorite, like, best movie ever from a long time ago. She, her and Matthew um, Perry, was it? Matthew McConaughey? Maybe? Nope. Matthew, Friends? Yeah. Matthew okay. Perry, yeah. He was on it with her. So good. Fools Rush In. Fools Rush In. Mm -hmm. You know what I was, the one, uh, not 10 Things I Hate About You, but <gasps> How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Love it. Love it. Somebody got their nails done and it said, our love for you let it die. <laughs> and it's like yes. on every nail. Beanie, weenie, boo boo bear. <laughs> <laughs> I, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is one of my favorites. And yeah. um, Sweet Home Alabama. Oh my goodness. Kate Hudson posted the picture of the nails. And it was so cute because they, like, one nail had a fern on it. <laughs> and then it said each nail had a, had a word. Our love fern, you let it die. And then the last nail had a dead fern painted on it. It was adorable. If I was in my 20s, I might do something like that. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. It's not. I mean, you can tell my type. It's not really me. <laughs> okay, so I used uh, soft pink and peony to get this cute little heart. He's just adorable. They're loving this. They said it's I don't so think pretty. Can be any cuter. So take the tip of your brush. Dip it in your white and give him a little dot here in the eye. You can even add a second little dot so that he has those. These colors are so pretty together. They are. Look at that. Doesn't that just make him come to life? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do a little uh, across the bridge of his nose. Some little swipies. And if you do this in this arced motion here, you're going to get that rounded beak. So you don't don't necessarily think that you have to highlight things just with a, you know, like you can brush it in a little bit, and it'll look more like a highlight. I think he's pretty done in here. Let's do an outline on him. Drying just a little bit, Winston and Eloise. <laughs> liking and sharing and commenting today. I'm going to do the outside edges with my thicker Sharpie marker here. And I'm probably going to do the love word in the thick marker. And then the rest of uh, his features in this thinner one. This one is one of the new Valentine shapes. 
Isn't it? I feel like I just made it. Yeah. He is on the website. But I can't wait to add this beautiful colored version of him on the website. I know. He's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to do the love in this thicker marker, too. I think it could have some bold... Don't be too uh, heavy with your marker. Alright. So there is some love. Oh, it's so cute. And we're going to do his little uh, feather hands here with our thin one just to get the outline on the letters. We're going to go just a little bit around his belly. Just kind of swipe your marker. You don't have to follow it hardcore. Come across here. Just his feet. Winston is adorable. I feel like he's in pre-K. <laughs> What is uh, I bet a pre-K teacher would love to put this on her door. What does Abram call them? Call them li the little grades or something? Yeah, like that. the little grades or yeah. So if you mess up with your marker a little bit, so that's she's okay. not a little grade. Fill your lines in there. So and then come she over didn't and fill in just a little bit on this side. She wasn't was allowed. <laughs> I said, Jackson, she probably wasn't allowed to sit by you. Well, she's not, but it still felt like she didn't like me anymore. <laughs> Plus Jackson. Oh, my goodness. She had a, that was that rough day where she got moved. Yeah, because there was one day where Abram came home talking about Jackson, and she wasn't able to sit something. She was like, and I felt so bad for her, Mom. She was like, I just felt so bad for Jackson today. Okay, you're Winston. Like, Today's winner is Michelle Landry. Michelle Landry, email support at build dash a dash com. Yes, and he made him Valentine's for his girlfriend Eloise. They're in pre-K. It's so cute. Yeah. Fresh. Yep. He probably has a little lift. Probably so. Eloise. Love it. Is Winston the cat on the girl? Winston's the guy, the cop. Oh wait, what is he? Y'all have a good day.